first job was actually cleaning camper vans on the weekend for my parents. So we'd uh, the vehicle would get returned, we'd have to come in, strip all the linen and towels and pillows out of it, put them through the washer, get the um, the vehicle in the wash bay and clean all the dirt and mud off the outside and blacken the tyres, change the oil and that. so that was my first job in the business. I was a diesel fitter, I did my apprenticeship as a diesel fitter and I worked for for the cat dealers for 10 years, uh, that was after I left school. You still like to keep your hand in working on the Oh yeah, I still like, I still like tractors, yeah. yeah it's in your blood I guess. My first job was um, the office junior. <laughs> um, I used to have to prepare the mail and, and mail, do the mail every afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, in those days I didn't have tea ladies and I used to make the tea and coffee. Um, and I started off as the lowest paid employee. Um, And in those days, they didn't have a lot of industrial relations, things like that. <laughs> um, if the boss said to, said to you, jump, you used to say, yes, sir, how high? I mean, we were, I can remember, we were scared of the, of the, of the boss in those days. Mm -hmm. It would never happen today. I mean, people would just thumb their nose at them, but we were absolutely terrified of the boss. Where was that? Uh, that was at Ampol in the Shared Department mm -hmm. at Balmain in Sydney. First job uh, was probably washing trucks and greasing trucks. My father, he owned a few trucks and I used to wash trucks for him for $2 a truck. And then um, I found his opposition paid $5 a truck, so I left my dad and went for work for the opposition, which was a bit of a laugh. Um, and my first real job, I guess, was as a trainee metallurgist with BHP down in um, Port Kembla Steelworks. I left school when I was 13, started work when I was 14 as a Bowser boy. At Earl Motors, which was the Ford dealership in those days. What do you, what do you remember of that, of that time? What I remember of that time is that my father used to work for Percy Earl, and I believe that when I was 14, working for him it was like working for basically for my father, who's a very decent person, very good businessman, but very tough. I asked him for a raise once and he said to me to give me the raise but I had to open up first thing in the morning and close at night. By that time of course I was living in a flat of my own and I found it difficult to pay the rent. To make ends meet in those days, I used to have my breakfast out of the biscuit tin which was the morning tea bin for the, for the staff. My first job, uh, picking apples, but I got the sack because I was too slow. <laughs>